hello guys welcome back so a uh, little quick video about the next problem and the problem is problem 158a and it's on code forces the link is codeforces.com slash problem slash slash problem slash 158a so let's move on uh, the category is <coughs> problem a and the name of the problem is next term so now the same stuff as time limit per test and memory limit per test now we are going to read the problem uh, contestant who earns a score equal to or greater than the kth place finishers score will advance to the next round as long as the contestant earns a positive score so we are talking about the contestant who is going to enter our next round based on the, his score equal to or greater than the kth place finisher's score so that's the first line talking about next line a total of n participants took part in the contest and you know their scores okay so we are uh, have the information about the scores of n participants and we have to calculate how many participants will advance to the next round okay so it is basically a problem of an implementation and it's a very easy problem but you have to make sure that your corner cases are equally covered because that's why most of your test cases fail on submission so okay so let's check what is the input the first line of the input contains two integer n and k okay so n is the number of participants and k is the k at place finisher and the second line contains the score of the n participants okay and the output is the number of participants to advance to the next round so let's talk about the first input the n value here is 8 and the k value is here is 5 okay so fifth place finisher 1 2 3 4 5 so 7 7 is the value so we have to check with the scores of all the all the participants who have the score greater than or equal to 7 so let's check our answer 1 2 3 4 5 6 so that 6 is the answer so it's a basic very implementation problem uh, but we have to play around corner cases uh, that says uh, you uh, read the problem statement it says earns a positive score so like score is uh, positive quantity and we have to keep a check on it and next let's see what uh, what we are going to implement and where we get stuck <laughs> on submission okay let's dive in so problem number 158 a for today okay I'm also pushing the codes to the repository you can check it out at any time and flown into your local machines I will be soon adding the readmes to that so that you can also contribute and send the PRs okay so taking the input to scanner class So this is the value of n, the number of participants. Okay, so now we have got n and k and we have to take an array of length n to score this, store the scores. Okay. And now let's take the input the scores.
now we have to determine the score of uh, the uh, kth uh, player's score so we will name a variable known as score and keep that uh, to a of it should not be k because we are not the arrays are started from index 0 and the user has assumed that index start from 1 as the input goes starting goes from 1 so we have to take k minus 1 I think it makes it clear because the indexing of array starts at 0 and the real and real life people start from 1 so we have to take at a of k minus 1 so now we have to do again through the array to determine which players have the scores greater than equal to k and who are going to enter the next round I'm also defining a uh, state uh, variable known as count of players that stores the count of all the players so now if a of j is greater than equal to then amount of players plus plus okay and now okay I will explain it to you how we can reduce this complexity of O n and how we have to handle the test cases and the corner cases okay so I think uh, the problem will run for this input okay I'm sorry yeah so it works for the input but uh, now we have not covered the test uh, the corner cases so let's talk about the corner cases and you can see that this loop uh, complexity is in I will also tell how we can reduce this complexity from O n to the uh, o of something a constant that is equal to or less greater than, greater than equal to score okay so let's move on now uh, we have to again read the statement and it says in the first line it earns a positive score okay so we have to check that the score of the player k is greater than is not equal to 0 that means it should be positive so score should not be equal to 0 or the current player score should also be not equal to 0 okay because if the current player score is also 0 then we are going to fail that test case because we have to check that the contestant score should be a positive score okay so we can also like build a test case for checking this that um, let me think um, okay okay so let's see that if there are three players and I'm going to talk about the second player score and let's say if all the scores of the player are zero so the output should be zero you got that that uh, the score is not positive here and you also if I have not included this condition then my loop would be traversing from uh, second uh, position that is uh, second va position's value that is equal to 0 and it will count to 3 you got that like 0 is greater than equal to 0 yes 1 
0 is greater than or equal to 0 count of players is 2 0 is greater than or equal to 0 count of players is 3 so we have to keep a check on the coordinate case and this is that I have coupled now going to how to reduce that complexity of this loop uh, I think here it is given the given sequence is non-increasing so but uh, yes okay 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 let me try that I'm just trying it live so I'm not actually pretty much sure about it but yes the problem that's giving it right AJ is less than a score Pick. okay so what I have done here is that uh, I have as it is stated that the given sequence is non increasing and when I reach to a state where my uh, particular players score is less than the score that I am going to talk about then why do I iterate from the elements there to the length of the array you got that like if we have um, an array of five elements and the values are like uh, five four three two one so I am going to talk about the second elements uh, second player uh, value and that is like let me light it here just a second so we are going to talk about two five four three two one and okay so we are talking about second player uh, score four here and so how many people are going to enter the um, final next round so the output should be two players but my loop here was iterating to the length of n suppose that if it goes to more than this length or somewhat an arbitrary length that is that makes much complex program so what I have done is that if that current score is less than the score that I am talking about then we should break from exit from the loop so my loop will check till here and it will exit so I think I have saved iterations of much time okay so I think let me check again that my code is compiling okay or the next test case let me again check it okay see aha uh -huh. here it has the input of test case 0 aha uh -huh. so that was I was talking about I have not read the whole problem yet but yes okay so let's go to some mission and just copy paste the whole code and let's see it breaks or it passes uh, and beats up <laughs> running on test 9 39 Either we are going to pass or fail. Um, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, accept it. So, yes, uh, I think problem 158 is clear to you. And we will be moving to the next uh, problem for sure. And I will be moving on uh, really very fast. I'm too much preoccupied by some of the shittiest works. So yes, uh, I will be find, finding more time for it and well, ordering and yes, I will be moving with more fire. Okay, so bye bye, take care guys, have fun and yes, do comments on the following videos that I have uploaded and if you find 
any uh, problem or any such suggestions you would like to give please you are always allowed okay bye bye good night